everybody, this is Joe Bags here today for something that I am trying out. Uh, sorry about that. I had to rearrange the microphone. I didn't like how it was positioned. But today is going to be a review for sure, but it is not a review of something you watch or read. It is a review of something that you eat. A recipe review, to be exact. And today's recipe is... Fried chicken giblets. Now, um, uh, the reason why I'm doing uh, fried chicken giblets is because um, I like fried chicken. I've made it several times. It's one of my favorite things to make. And um, one thing I want to try out is I want to start buying whole chickens and cutting them up myself. That way I have a good variety of chicken cuts to devour throughout the period I have chicken in stock. <laughs> Bad pun. And yes, I made stock with the carcass that I dissected the chicken with. It'll help me to practice uh, good knife skills and dissecting a chicken. So in case any of you restaurants out there are looking to hire someone to cut up chickens and get rid of those nasty carcasses, I know somebody who would love to help. But anyway, my skills, I'll I'll, let you, I'll just put that on resume on how often I cut up chickens. Um, and usually when you buy chickens, they have these giblets inside the cavity, uh, usually inside of a bag. Uh, in this case, they were not. So what I basically did with these giblets here, I marinated them with the rest of my chicken parts, uh, the breasts, the legs, and the thighs in buttermilk as well as some kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and two different types of paprika. I believe um, uh, it's Hungarian and Spanish smoked. The sunlight is glaring. I apologize for all these weird technical difficulties, but the things you got to do to make a good vlog, and I kind of want to do this in one take, so, you know, how that very unprofessional, but either way, I'm going to devour these, and I'm going to taste some of them with a little bit of hot sauce, and I'm also going to wash it down with some water, and if that's not enough, I've got a Little Debbie's Oatmeal Cream Pie. I like these things a lot. It's a childhood snack, so here we go. So, first, we are going to start with a heart. And, by the way, this is cooked. It doesn't have any blood. So, one, two, three. Hmm. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so... That was very tasty. Very meaty, very much like good dark meat. However, it was very, very, very chewy. Like, like I, I've still got a little bit in my mouth that, that. Mm. So yeah, it yeah, a chicken heart tastes just like dark meat. I, and that's good for me because I really like dark meat. It's just really, really chewy and. And I, I, I'm absolutely positive that frying chicken hearts, that's not a good way. You're probably going to want to braise them long and low. So, all right, now that the heart's done, on to the liver. And uh, it, looks, it, lo it, it looks kind of like a chicken nugget right there. Let me turn on the light to see if, it, if that's better. And, uh, well... It's debatable. But, anyway, fried chicken liver. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, the good news is I do not have to resort to this to wash out the taste. The liver is pretty much just dark meat paste. And 
I have to say that uh, with the liver, I would probably spread it onto like um, like a biscuit kind of ordeal, which would probably explain why um, livers are often used in spreads like pâté de foie gras. But anyway, so yeah, I don't think I need to um, kind of you know see if the hot sauce improves it since this is basically a a big pile of dark meat chicken. Well rather small pile of dark meat chicken and I like dark meat chicken and I like it uh, with this uh, Cholula hot sauce so yeah this recipe experiment is a success um, for the original recipe go to foodnetwork.com and search Alton Brown's fried chicken I basically used that recipe however instead of seasoning the chicken and, and instead of seasoning the chicken after it's marinated I added the seasonings into the buttermilk marinade and so yeah um, this is a thumbs up um, but I will say that um, would I recommend this if people are squeamish no um, it would definitely go down funny with uh, with Valentine's Day or Halloween but uh, if you're genuinely curious, I'd recommend checking it out, but keep in mind, I marinated these for uh, the minimum, I'd say, for good fried chicken perfection in buttermilk is about 24 hours. Mine was in there for 48. I think any longer than that, it probably might have spoiled, so I've got the rest of the chicken cook cooking up, and I'll see you guys then. Until next time, this is Joe Bag saying, be resourceful and try new foods.